and uh, I don't know. And. Hey guys, it's Molly here again for another video and I'm so stoked to do this video. I feel like it's a video I've wanted to do for forever, but honestly like didn't know the best way to go about it because I want to be able to show you how as a blind fashion lover, I put together my own outfits. I've already shown you how I shop, I'll link that video down below, but now I want to show you how once those clothes are actually in my closet, how on a daily basis I go in, find pieces, put clothes together, make an outfit, and kill it every time. I mean, I, prob I don't. probably don't, but like, I like to think I do. Um, Cause you know, I like my style. Cause it's my style. So, so I was trying to figure out the best way to do this because my closet, it's, it's a walk-in closet, but it's not big enough for like me lighting a camera person. And so what I decided to do was buy a clothing rack, a super cheap like $8 clothing rack from Ikea. And I had my mom just raid my closet, pick out random pieces, hang them up, all scattered throughout the clothing rack, and now I'm going to have a camera kind of just follow me around as I, as I show you how I piece together outfits. So I'm gonna take you over to the clothing rack in a second. It's over there. I haven't touched anything. I don't know what's on that clothing rack. I don't know if my mom's thrown me any curveballs. We'll just have to wait and see. But before I get into showing you that aspect, I want to get to today's sponsor. We love being sponsored because it means we pay our bills and we like paying bills so we don't get kicked out of our apartment and we can eat food. Okay, today's sponsor is Drop. Drop is a free app that you can download and it helps you get rewards basically through shopping at stores you would shop with anyways, like Sephora, Target, Uber, Amazon, Starbucks, <sighs> Starbucks, uh, Trader Joe's, like the list just goes on and on. There's tons on the app. So I've been using the Drop app for probably like a week to 10 days and I've been using it when I go to Starbucks, when I go to Trader Joe's and I've been stacking up my points. I haven't spent any of my rewards points yet, but uh, I'm excited because I'm going to get myself some free Starbucks. I'm going to show a recording on the screen of how the app works and what it looks like, how it's used. Um, it won't be me doing it. I have to mention because I'm passionate about accessibility that this app isn't fully accessible to screen reader users like myself, um, which I made sure the company knows and they said it's something that they are working on and aware of, which is great. Um, so the push notifications are totally accessible. Setting the app up is really, really easy, but you will need some help if you are a screen reader user. I'm still using it and collecting points, but it's something that when I do use, I need help navigating. So I just definitely have to let you know. Obviously, my like preference would be that it's fully accessible, but it's something they're working on and that's what's most important. Anyways, you can see how many points you've earned and where you can spend them when you go on the app. The app is really, really simple. There's basically just three steps to get started. Just download the app, set it up, link it to a credit card or debit card, and then start spending and earning points. Honestly, I feel like there's no reason not to try the app out because it's like free and so easy to use. If you wanna download the app and get started, then you can do so directly on the App Store using my code, which is right here and down below in the description box. Um, or you can just click my link which is this and also down below um, and download it through that. If you download it through my link or use my code when you download it, then you'll be entered basically after you've connected your credit card, you'll be entered to win up to $25 in gift cards. Who doesn't love free shopping? Speaking of shopping and my obsession and addiction with spending money on clothes, let's go figure out what's on my clothing rack and put together some dope outfits. Before we get into the clothing rack full of clothes, um, I wanna give my outfit a shout out because I feel like it's really cute. I'm wearing this Minnie Mouse sweater dress that just says Minnie on it because like I'm kind of Minnie as a human being, which you can probably tell when I'm standing next to a clothing rack in big heels that I'm like still not as tall as the clothing rack. That's how short I am. Um, this is from Primark and then I'm wearing black knee high socks from Primark and then these cute 
chunky boots and every time I wear these on my Instagram you guys ask where they're from they're from Zara and I got them last year all right just like in my shopping video I'm kind of just gonna feel around and uh, try to figure out what options we have from my closet all right so all right these are a pair of black and white patterned flowy pants that almost look like a skirt when you wear them with this belt that ties around it and these are from American Eagle and they have a matching top so I don't know if my mom put the matching top in this to throw me off separated them I guess I'll have to keep feeling around seeing what we have but that's item number one I know what this is because I've had it for about six to eight months now and I know just based on the texture of the material and of course the unique shape of the bottom of the pants and the belt that's already on them. I would pair that of course with the matching top but if the matching top isn't here I'd probably just pair it with like a white or black crop top. Second item here. Okay this I already know is another one of my pieces from American Eagle. You'll, you'll get to see a lot of uh, what my favorite stores are. American Eagle especially their online exclusives is one of my faves. This is going to be the bottom half of a black, is it black and white? Blue and white, it's navy blue. Um, it's a navy blue and white gingham set. So this is the bottom half, which is like a skirt at the back and then long pants at the front. It sounds kind of not cute, but when you put it on, I promise it's super cute. And I usually wear that with like some brown wedges and like a sun hat or something like that, super cute. We're going into fall now, so I mean, but I mean, I live in LA, so. oh, oh, goodbye. Ooh. Okay, now we're getting into more of a fall piece. This piece is from one of my favorite boutiques. It's called Boa Boutique. I'll link all the stores down below. I probably won't be able to link the pieces because they're from all different times, but this is so beautiful for the fall. It has these long bell sleeves. It's just the nicest material. It's like a, a thin knit, but it's not too thin. It kind of has not quite an off the shoulder cut, but a, an open shoulder. And I love to pair this with light wash ripped skinny jeans or even a dark wash denim, cute brown booties, maybe a brown braided belt. Um, and then I would do maybe a um, faux fur vest that I have over top of it or just alone with a nice statement necklace. It's a really classy piece that you can either make funky or kind of more businessy. Now this jacket, I believe Adeline Morin also has. I bought it first, I would just like to say, but I think I saw her. Adeline and I always buy the same stuff. Like one of us buys it and the other buys it, even if we don't know. I just always, we always have the same clothes. I feel like you guys have even noticed. This is from Urban Outfitters and it is their own in-house brand and it is a bright baby blue. It's not pastel blue, but it's like a, a lighter blue and it's like the teddy bear material. And I have a lot of faux fur and teddy bear jackets for fall and winter. They all have different textures pretty much, either different textures or different cuts. And that's how I'm able to remember this one's the light blue one, this one's the pink one, this one's the cranberry one. And then I have this, which I know is my pastel pink. I honestly have an insane memory. That's what you need to take from this. I basically, every piece I put in my wardrobe, I just memorize the texture, the shape, the fabric, and then I memorize what it would look cute with or based on my understanding or knowledge of fashion through reading fashion blogs and watching fashion videos or listening to fashion videos on YouTube, figuring out how to pair them together. So I guess what I'm really showing you here is my understanding of what I have in my wardrobe. Um, this is like a pastel pink, it's from Nordstrom, love Nordstrom. Um, it's a really oversized, flowy, really, really light knit pastel pink sweater. Um, I usually wear this with a white lace bralette under it and some like black shiny leggings and boots, um, maybe a leather jacket. I have a really beautiful leather jacket that has um, pink rose details on it. So that usually looks really cute with this. What I love about it is it has this kind of open back with the like scoop. Um, that looks super cute when you have your hair up. Oh, this sweater is so stinking cute. It's from the kids section of H&M. Yep, I'm that small. I can shop in the kids section. And it is this super like fluffy, also pastel pink sweater that has like a winking eye embroidery with little cute sequin pink lips. 
and I just think it's really cute. This again, I would pair similar to how I pair this item because they're similar in color. All right, so I just kind of wanted to go through the first section here and kind of share with you exactly how it is that I that I figure out what's what in my closet. And what I will say is for this kind of challenge, to challenge myself, I had my mom mess everything up and like put it on this clothing rack that I wouldn't usually use and just like shove whatever she wanted wherever she wanted. Um, just to, sh to show how I'm gonna figure it out and pick pieces out But typically in my closet. I have everything in its place like everything's very organized very sectioned So I know exactly what is where in my closet when I'm going when I have an idea for an outfit in my head that I want to wear that day I can just be like okay over here I grab this pair of jeans over here I grab this jacket and I figure it out like that but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of exactly how it is that I've like just memorized everything in my closet based off of how they feel and kind of give you an idea of like in my head I go into day like every day with the outfit idea in my mind and I just pick the pieces. So now I'm gonna try to just go through um, and pick out some outfits. I have two leather jackets with rose details, but this one has spikes. And that's how I know that this one is the one with more like purple, like maroony, ready purple flowers versus the one that has the pink flowers doesn't have the studs. This is from Beau Boutique as well and so is this off the shoulder velvet top which I'm obsessed with and lately I've been doing this combo together. You actually probably, if you watch my Today Show interview, which if you didn't I'll link it below, um, that's what I wore on the show. And I usually pair it with these black high-waisted ripped skinny jeans from um, American Eagle and I know that these are my black ripped ones because of where the rips are located and the fact that the bottoms are also ripped. So that's how I know which specific pair of jeans these ones are. So yeah, this is a typical outfit I would put together. Um, I think it's really cute. It keeps in the kind of wintry fall vibes with the dark colors, um, but I love all the textures. You'll see that's a big theme in my wardrobe. I love pairing a lot of textures together because it makes it easier for me. Um, and I can enjoy fashion when it feels feels like something. So I love the velvet on this. I love the studs, mixing that together. I know that kind of the color of the flowers can kind of pull a bit from the color here. Um, so yeah, there, I've pulled out one typical Molly outfit from the stack of clothes my mom left for me. Oh, she threw me a bit of a curveball. These two are the exact same item. One's white and one's black. Uh, I think everybody's guilty of this. When you find an item you love, you buy it in every color. But the way I can tell which one's which is they have slight differences. This this one in the front I know is white because the sleeves are a little bit looser. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. You might be able to feel it more than you can see it which I feel like is a big thing is like I'll notice something by touch because my fingers were like literally trained to be hypersensitive in a way that sighted people wouldn't notice. The white one's also a soft, slightly softer fluff. So with both of these items, I'll usually pair it with a legging. So like I would do maybe a maroon legging and with the black, I'd wear a black pair of sneakers or boots and with the white, I'd wear a white pair of sneakers. I found the top that matches one of the bottoms. Oh, I found both tops. Okay, this one's the gingham one because it's like an off the shoulder cut. So it looks really cute with the, the gingham skirt. But I also love pairing this even with like a pair of high-waisted white flowy pants. Looks super cute in the summer months. And then this one I know goes with the black one because it's a tube top and has like the frilly bottom. Um, and I'll usually pair this I've only typically worn. Uh, this would look cute actually with high-waisted black ripped skinnies and a leather jacket in the winter or fall. That would look cute. You know, LA winter. It's not that wintry. These are such cute pants. I'm gonna have to organize my whole closet again after this video. I hope you guys appreciate that. These pants are so cute. They're like these flowy black, I wanna say black, white, and silver stripes. And then they have this tie around the waist to cinch you in. And I don't know if, the t oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so impressed with myself. I literally reached my hand out and I was about to say, I don't know if the top I usually wear with these is here. And I landed my hand on the top I wear them with. That's crazy. Both of these are from Boa Boutique and I actually bought them both in the shopping video. Okay, these are super cute. I got these at a boutique on Melrose called Timeless that I really like. And they're these flowy, wide leg, polka dot, high-waisted pants with this 
zipper front detail and they're black with big white polka dots and the same day that I bought these pants I know the tops on here because I already felt it when I was searching I bought this blouse which is white with tiny black polka dots and it's really cute it like ties up in front of your boobs and then ties up around your waist so you basically have like two tie front closures with like gaps in between um, and I usually pair them together to be honest i think it looks super cute paired together like the big polka dots with the little polka dots the black with the white and the white with the black i just think it looks really cute together but you can also of course do these as separates i think these would look super cute with like a red top like black white and red always a, always a good look and then this would look really cute with the black ripped up skinny jeans or even like a light wash mom jean and some sneakers or booties i think would look super cute so here is another typical Molly outfit. Oh, I love this sweater. This is so cozy. I have this as well in two colors. I have it in cranberry and I have it in gray, but these two feel literally identical. And so honestly, the only way I would be able to tell in the morning is typically because gray goes in one spot and cranberry goes in another. So like I know where each is, but in this case, I don't and I, the other one is I haven't felt it on here I don't think it's on here so I would either have to ask somebody if somebody was home which color this one was or I would use some form of an app like be my eyes um, where you can like call somebody and they can literally tell you everything or like a color spotting app something like that to be able to tell me what color this is but I typically just wear these this like super comfy with like black leggings and rain boots on like a rainy day or black leggings and little like cute booties for a nice fun fall look maybe i will show you guys one more outfit before we wrap this video up i've never actually worn this outfit together but i found both pieces on here and i think that i would wear this together i would wear this which i got for ten dollars at the store called mendocino and it's Again, like a good off the shoulder, flowy sleeve. It's, I believe, like a maroon or burgundy color. I honestly don't know the difference between maroon and burgundy because I can't see colors. And people always seem to like lump them together. So this is one or the other. You guys can tell me what it is. Um, and that has like just scrunch and a little fluffer. And then I think I would wear it with these velvet black pants. And I think that would be a super cute winter outfit. All right. That's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite outfit I put together was down below in the comment section. And, uh, I don't know. And, and I really hope you guys found this interesting. I'm just a blind girl that loves fashion and will find any way I can to be able to independently do what I love the most which is like makeup and fashion and being a 24 year old girl who's obsessed with everything beauty so i hope you guys found this interesting give it a thumbs up if you did again thank you to drop for sponsoring today's video we all really appreciate you and uh, i'll see you in the next video guys